Today on Weekend Wing Shop, I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite sequence licks that I use in the minor pentatonic scale. It involves some string skipping and some hellacious hybrid picking. Let's scope it out. <laughs> Hello there kids and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wayne Shop. Here's a good buddy, Uncle Benjamin. I'm always getting comments from you guys to put up some licks that feature some sick hybrid picking stuff, so I figured that this would be the perfect week to oblige your requests. This is a smoking hot sequence in the B minor pentatonic scale, although you could really apply the same concept to any other two note per string pentatonic or diminished kind of scale idea that you have. First I'm going to show you how to play the lick, then we'll spend a little bit of time there talking about the right hand approach with the alternate picking and hybrid picking that I'm utilizing to play it. Before we do, let's hear it again at stepdad speed. <laughs> Of course, you guys can find a full tab for this week's lesson on my Instagram page. Be sure to give me a follow over at Ben Eller Guitars. Find the tab for this week's lick and then upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. This week's lick is built all around the B minor Pentecostal scale, which goes like this from low to high. Low E string, here we're going to play 710. A string is 79. D string is 79. G string is 79. B string is 710 and high E string is 710. It's kind of the framework that this whole thing is built off of. Okay, so the entire concept of this sequence through this lick can be encapsulated in the first dozen notes. That covers everything you need to know about the sequencing and the picking combinations too. So the whole concept of this thing can be understood pretty easily. What you're doing is you're playing a note in the scale, like let's say the 7th fret A string, and then playing the two notes below it in the scale, so 10th E, 7th E. Then what you do is you progress forward to the next note in the scale ahead of the one you began on last time. So in other words, you began here last time, so the next sequence is going to start right here on the 9th fret A. Play that note, and then the two below it in the scale, so 7th A, 10th E. So yeah, basically, play a note in the scale, play the note two below it. Now, here's how this entire eight beat phrase is going to go kind of beat by beat. Each beat contains six notes, or a sextuplet if you want to call it that. So beat number one, what we're going to do here is to start off by sliding into the seventh fret A string, then playing the two below it in the scale. So tenth low E, seventh low E. Next what you're going to do here is to play the A string fret number nine, fret number seven, then the tenth fret low E. That is beat number one. Every one of these beats is going to be played the exact same way for the right hand, regardless of the string grouping or anything like that. It's always going to go hybrid, down, up, down, up, down, hybrid, down, up, down, up, down. I suggest even taking that first six note phrase there and just practicing that picking a couple of times through. So now that you got beat one, let's cover beat number two, which is going to start off with the seventh fret D string, hybrid picked, A string nine seven, D string nine seven, A string nine. So beat number two was. Beat number three is identical to what you just played. So now you've had one. Beat number four, you're going to start off on the G string here on seven. Then you're going to play D nine seven, G string nine, G string seven, D string nine. One, two, three, four. Beat number five is identical to what you just played there. So you're going to do the G seven, G nine. One, two. Number six is going to begin on the B string here, fret number seven. You got to play that, and then nine seven on the G. B string ten seven. G string nine. Beat number seven is going to start off on the high E string, fret number seven. B string ten seven. High E string ten seven. B string ten. 
And lastly, ending on beat number eight, which is gonna be the high E string, fret number seven. And that is a metric ass ton of notes. Let's check out all eight beats again. And again, follow the picking really closely. Hybrid, down, up, down, up, down for every one of these. Beat number one. Beat number two. Beat number three. Beat number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. It is entirely possible to play that whole lick alternate picking and never involve hybrid picking into it, but I just think that's a great lick to kind of practice getting that hybrid picking incorporated into your playing. Notice how it really eases the string changes, because whenever you're going from beat number one to beat number two, beat number one ends on the 10th fret low E string, beat number two starts off on the 7th fret D string. So that means there's a big old string hop right there, right? Like this. That move right there. See, the pick has to make a big jump to kind of hurdle over the A string. But the cool thing is, is if you just use your middle finger nail to grab that note like that, the pick doesn't have to move at all. Check it out. That right there is one of the best kind of motion saving, you know, energy saving tricks in the book. Rather make the pick get all the way down to there, just use the guy that's already on the field right near that string, your middle finger. I'll give you one more extreme close up here on the right hand so you can really see it in action. Smoking. Okay. Hopefully that's something cool you guys can practice and incorporate into your playing as well as give you some ideas about how you can use hybrid picking to get around needless string changes with the pick. Bodacious. Thank you guys as always so much for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars. You can also go like my new Facebook fan page over on Facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email. Ben Eller Guitars at gmail.com. Thanks again and stay tuned for another sick lick next week. Cheers.